Hi, I'm Mark, one third of Trading the Market, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update the Excel sheet that we showed you how to make in the last Excel video, the one that scrapes data from the internet to allow you to analyze the statistics. As you can see, this is a very simple spreadsheet from the one we made last time, and it is the Premier League, the remaining games of the Premier League anyway. And we have three tabs at the bottom, main, goals by half, team level, and May. And these da this data is scraped directly from the internet and it refreshes automatically. So as you see the Premier League data there with all the Premier League teams, I'm gonna show you how to change that into a different league without having to recreate all the formulas we put in last time. So we're gonna click data connection queries and on the right hand side where the table is, we're gonna right click, click May and edit. That's gonna bring up this power query form. We're then gonna click data source settings at the top and this shows us our two tables that we get from the internet as results and timings. So make sure you get the right one. So we're gonna right click on results, change data source. And we're gonna then go over to soccer stats to get the new link for the Spanish La Liga, which we're gonna change this Premier League one into. So we've clicked on matches. We're gonna click at the top and copy the new URL for where the May table is for the Spanish games. And then we're gonna paste it into this box click OK as you can see it says results Spain at the end and we're going to do the same for the next one change source right click change source and this one's for the timings as you can see in the URL there so we click on timings and then we copy and paste from the top again we've already told it what table we want it to bring down we just need to tell it which web page to get it from now so we're going to paste that one in and click OK so now we've done them both we're going to close and then at the top, we're gonna to hit refresh and preview. And as you can see, it's now changed to all Spanish teams. So it shows the new data is loaded incorrectly. Then at the top left, we're gonna hit close and load. Once we hit close and load, you'll see it update and it's now updated to all the Spanish teams rather than the Premier League teams. And that's the same with the goals by half team level so let's have a look at that there you go you can see they're all Spanish teams and you can see this is all updated to the Spanish fixtures now it's important that you highlight the bottom row um, on that main fixture um, and check that the last fixture in that table is also the last fixture there if not you can highlight it and drag it down in this case it's right so we'll delete it once you've done this all you have to do is save it as a new spreadsheet so you click file save as um, and that would allow you to save it under its new name. What I'm doing on the right hand side is showing you that on your queries and connections where we edited before, you can click refresh data when, when opening the file. So as you do this to the May field, you'll also do it to the goals by half field. You have to do it separately. So right click properties, refresh data when opening the file, click that and click OK. And every time you reopen the spreadsheet, it will update for your first time. It's a nice, simple, quick and easy method. This has just been a short video in order to show you how to change over the data field for your Excel sheet very quickly. We do have a series of Excel videos coming out to show you how to use Excel to the best of its ability in order to make trading far much easier. We have our own Discord server, which you can feel free to join. The description it has the link for the server in it. Uh, almost at 200 members of a community of people just sharing their ideas if that's no interest to you keep watching the videos subscribe like comment ask us any questions we're here to help the discord group is a very useful group because you have access to us you can ask us questions and you can also ask the other users in the discord questions it's all free we still don't charge for anything and the only thing that's left for me to say is i've been mark this has been trading the market until next time happy trading